Salam, welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Wangil Zalalam bringing you this report. Mali has officially pushed out their leader and at the moment they have a transitional military party ruling and they plan on staying for three years but first watch how the coup went and we'll come back. The military government that seized power in Mali wants a military-led transitional body to rule the country for three years and has agreed to release President Ibrahim Boubacar. A source in a visiting West African delegation said on Sunday. They said the junta has has affirmed that it wants a three-year transition to review the foundation of the Malian state. This transition will be directed by a body led by a soldier who will also be head of state. The government will also be predominantly composed of soldiers under the military government's proposal. Leaders of the military government led by colonial Asimi Goita and mediators from ECOWAS, West Africa's regional bloc led by Nigeria's former president, Good luck, Jonathan. Met behind closed doors all day on Sunday and are due to resume discussions on Monday. We have been able to agree on a number of points, but not yet on all the discussions, Jonathan told reporters on Sunday night after some nine hours of negotiation. The coup followed months of protests calling for Kita to resign as public discontent with the government grew about the country's brutal rebellion and collapsing economy. While it met international condemnation, thousands of opposition supporters celebrated the president's removal in the streets of Bamako. The military government has said it completed the work of the protesters and has promised to stage elections within a reasonable time. However, the 15-nation economic community of Western African states, weary of prolonged instability in Mali and the potential for similar power grabs in the region, has taken a hard line on the coup. This coup was Mali's second in eight years and has heightened concern about regional stability amid months of political unrest following a disputed election in March. Yeah, don't underestimate the power of people. You've hurt them, you've abused them enough, you've stolen their money enough, and now they said enough is enough. And when they say enough, be afraid. That this should be um, a message to the African leader. And that's exactly what happens when people have enough of uh, mistreatment and Mali is a good example. Not only Mali um, last year, is it last year? Two years ago, uh, they're about Sudan, it happened the same thing uh, with President al-Bashir and people were like, no, we can't do this anymore. And the Sudanese threw him out um, and then the military transitional party uh, took power. But the unfortunate thing is um, even the militaries, they don't act like the transitional parties. They, um, you know, they love power too, but hopefully, let's hope Mali's is different because Sudan's transitional party is still there you know, uh, being a head of state. So Mali's is the same. They took power by force and uh, the people were very happy that uh, he's no longer in the picture, but they've detained him. Uh, and many people made enough noise, like, you know, people in politics and other African countries. Now they said they would release him, even if he wants to go uh, out of the country, they're okay with it. And um, we'll see if they're going to release him. Um, but that's what they said and this is what happens though this this I'm glad they did that and also I'm hoping for the best because in, in during Sudan's coup I was really happy you have no idea how happy I was but the issue is before you are done being excited you see how the military moves and the transitional party already is saying I want to stay in power for two years that's for Sudan um, we'll see if they're going to Transition, what does that mean? You're supposed to give that to the next person. You're just holding it, just to hold it for now because you want stability in the country, yeah? But the uh, same thing is in Mali, which I'm ha happy for them that they stood their ground and they said no. Now my only hope and uh, prayer for them is that the, the military, the transitional military party actually acts like the transitional military party and gives it to another uh, the, a capable uh, government that is going to come or um, they're going to have a fair election and give the power without any issues, without sticking to power. I don't want to leave the power, you know, like, how you know how they are and what we've experienced so this should send a clear message to other African leaders that love their power they don't think nothing will happen to them tomorrow they don't think they've collected them hoarding all this money and stealing from their people it will come back to haunt them or bite them 
this this will uh, really I hopefully it will be like a, a reminder yo this can happen you know you're only one government you're only one head of state you might have like 100 people under you but there are millions of people around you and so be careful you know D don't be so sure that everything is okay and you'll continue embezzling you'll continue stealing from your people you will continue killing your people and being a dictator nothing will happen to you just be be, be very cautious this should teach our leaders that um, you should never be too comfortable you are in that position to help and work for your people and that is exactly what you need to do and not take advantage of your people if you do karma will get you and it's going to be really really bad so i again uh, i'm really happy they did that on their own um and uh, they took power in their own hands basically and made sure that this guy is out of office and they actually didn't just talk about it they made it happen that's one step and they did great already now it's ensuring that they hold the military the transitional military party accountable as well so that they do right by them if they don't same needs to happen you know they need to script them off <laughs> now the other capable uh, a democratic party should be in that uh, position taking that position and uh, hopefully taking Mali uh, to a better place um, than you know the current government uh, did or the previous so you guys do let us know down below what your thoughts are about this topic um what do you think about the coup and what do you think about people taking power into their own hands and showing who they really are and where the power really lies um do let us know i'll see you on the next one i am wengel zalalem bringing you this report bye